Absolutely. You ready to shut? Let me do my thing. Oh, no, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I am not ready to shut up. You know better. Come on. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today, I'm going to be doing a haul video. It's kind of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys some of the G.I. Joes that I picked up at an estate sale. I have already forgotten how much I spent. I want to say it was a hundred eighty to a hundred dollars on a huge tote. Now there's another tote that has like pieces and parts to a vehicle, um, but I'm not going to drag that over here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. But and then I've got a bag from the Goodwill bins in St. Louis, and then I grabbed two bags from Kim, who is. Um, a viewer who contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to buy a bunch of plush from her. So Robert and I drove to South Carolina and we picked up over 1,200 plush from her. So I grabbed two bags of that. That way I've got a little bit of everything. But let me show you these two first. These, I think they're called like the leaders of the world or something like that. Now I posted a short about this asking people would they sell all of this as a lot individually look for all the pieces and parts and try to sell them like that or just do a high lot i i'm i'm considering doing now i've got four of these figures the other two don't have the clothes on so i'm gonna have to figure out which clothing items go to them and um but i'm thinking i'm gonna put the maybe each of these separately but maybe the four of them together because they're all totally different than the normal G.I. Joes. But this is Ulysses S. Grant. And I'm believing this is George Washington. But, and then I have two more. And I'm not quite sure who they are. And then I have a ton. I've got, I don't know how many, of what I think are G.I. Joes. I haven't confirmed every single one of them to look for the marks on their backs. Um, but, you know, I've just got a whole bunch of these. And then I have another series that you could tell are kind of lesser quality. But I still think they're going to do well. I believe all of these are 21st century toys. They're from the 90s. But again, my issue is, is I have all these figures. I do have quite a few that are um, have broken limbs. But I know that that's okay. I may strip their clothes off of them and sell them. In, if I do a lot in the lot, I, I haven't decided. Y'all let me know what you think because it's a lot of work. Do I need, want to spend the time to do this? We, we got some comments that you would definitely make more money selling individually. The problem with that is knowing you're going to get more money is how many hours will it take you to figure out what it is and what could you have listed in, in meantime, those hours mm -hmm. that you know of plush and kitchen gadgets and all that that we normally sell you, you might be better off even though you'd make more money individually you might make more money overall if you list these as a lot and just list other stuff that you normally list for sale during the time that you would have spent researching here's a few more and then if you look back here in this corner there's probably five that are broken. I like how you stacked everything back there by that pile of clothes that you're always uh -huh. you guys grouching see his about. Mess? See his mess? This is the other issue. This is only part of the accessories. I still have a large box down here. It's got stuff. Garbage, ping pong balls, and I just need to go through it and sort it out. But it's so much. It's so it's so much that I my gut just wants to lay all this out, take pictures, and auction it. But I will start it high. But I don't know. But see, look. And some of this could be that, that other brand. Some of it's Hasbro. Some of it could be other things. I just, I don't know. There's just too much. And I know I could make lots of money, but it's the time. And y'all know I have a lot to get listed. 
Now, since this is stuff from St. Louis Benz and then from Kim, it's going to be a lot of toys. It's not yard sale stuff where we buy lots of different kinds of stuff. When I go to the Goodwill Benz, I'm pretty much looking for um, stuffed animals and toys because I just, I like to say, this is the last spot that these toys are going to get saved is me and other people who are there to purchase them before they go to the landfill. And I just, especially the vintage stuff, I, I need to save it. So let me show you some of the stuff that came. One bag from the Goodwill bins. We do buy other stuff, but it's not very often because mm -mm. We, we spend our time getting all the toys. And once we get the carts loaded up and it might be two or three carts, and then we stop and we go to the to, to the, the other next bins. bins. We just keep going back and forth, back and forth. But we always do like go through and look, is there a a, a food processor food or something processor. that we could that we could part out? Because if it's there, it, it probably doesn't work. Maybe it does. But we do look, but the toys are the, the toys main are the thing. Main goal. Right. This is Justice. You'll know Justice by this little heart. And it says tween brands, but I don't think it actually says justice. So just remember to keep your eye out, out for that um, brand. This giant narwhal, probably gonna list it 15 to $20, but it seems like um, a lot of this that I looked at is um, dirty. So it's all gonna need a bath. I've done four loads of laundry. This just this week on toys. Walmart, love the brand. This is cute. Probably still bread and butter, eight to 12. Build-A-Bear, most of these like this aren't much. Eight to ten, eight to $12. Every once in a while I, I might get surprised, but mostly you know, it's gonna be eight to 12. But this is cute. I'm assuming it's like a leopard or a jaguar. For those things that I can find comps for, I try to find solds, but every once in a while I'll show you guys also. If I can't find a good sold, um, I'll show you what I listed it for. This is Wildlife Artists. I like that brand. It's very lifelike, usually. Again, bread and butter. This says MGM Mirage. And the tag shows Las Vegas. I find these quite often, but usually they're in my bread and butter unless it's something really special. And then, of course, this one does not have clothes on. Um, but also, this. Normally, for me, I'm going to try. Somebody said use hand sanitizer, or I saw that in like a, a meme that says to get Sharpie off of clothing items, use hand sanitizer. So I'm going to try that. Um, alcohol doesn't normally work. I can get Sharpie off of hard items with alcohol. It doesn't work very well with clothes. All it does is smear, but doesn't come out. But if all else fails, um, sometimes I'll turn this into a letter, but even though this kind of looks squiggly. I think what it is is too yellow from the Goodwill um, that it was in. Yellow being the color of the week, that type of thing. And I might have been that they were going to sell it for $2. I don't know. But sometimes I'll try to either turn it into a letter or I'll just use a Sharpie and blacken it out and just note it in the, the listing. This is cute. This is of course, Walmart. Y'all know I like this. I like picking up the plush like this. I'm having a hard time deciding what kind of animal this is. And then they've put a bunny rabbit ears on it. But it's maybe a dog because of the ears. Don't know. Probably still 8 to $12. This is... Best Made Toys, another brand I like to pick up, but it's comparable to like Kelly Toy. Burton and Burton. I bought it just for the cuteness factor. That's not a brand that sells very well for me as far as, 
you know, something that I would go out of my way to pick up. But the monkey and the I'm wild about you, but still, 8 to $12. Look, Deli Cat, this is the tag you want to be looking for. It stands out. You know, it's cloth. It's got the big cat on there. Um, be careful with Jelly Cat. I always list my listings with a picture next to a tape measure because I've had an issue in the past with Jelly Cat where I said it was 10 inches, but it was really, in the person's mind, it was supposed to be another measurement and they left me neutral feedback a long time ago. So now I don't say small, medium, large. Um, I just show it with a tape measure. So there's no question about what size it is. This is still, I think, like $15 or so. Best made toys again. Just cute. Bread and butter. <sighs> this looks rust. Let me see. Nope. It says GAC. I'll have to look that up. But it does say 1998. How cute. Oh, and he's got a... So he's a bear dressed as a... Would that be a moose or a reindeer, Robert? That's like reindeer, moose horns. It could be, yeah. yeah. Like I'll use was, both words, probably. Except they're antlers, if, not horns. If I'm get... Oh. Inter-American, I haven't found this brand in a while. Inter-American products, very cute. A lot of times I'll use like ribbed as a describing word, you know, a keyword for this. Um, it does still have its original tag. Probably like six to eight dollars though. But I don't do free shipping. So that would be the buyer also pays shipping. I'm okay with these low dollar um plush because not all of my plush are that. I obviously if you watch some of my videos, my what sold videos, I do sell quite a bit of plush in the higher range. But I have it, so why not list it, right? This is Hug Fun, an elephant, just cute. Bread and butter. Look at this. I didn't get to look in the bottom of this bag. But ooh, ooh, ooh. I, just, I just listed a big old sloth earlier or last week. This is Walmart. No, the other one I bought wasn't Walmart. But look at this. How adorable. I think this is one of my favorites so far. He's just got the cutest face. No clue. I'm hoping... Let's say 40 plus for it. Now, will I be able to fit it in? A, no. Probably this will go in. I have a box that I buy in bulk. That's 18, 18 by 13 by 10 or something like that. Unless I can really squeeze it down and fit it in my 17 by 13. No, 16 by 12 by 8. You know, when you list stuff, just because the box says 16 by 12 by 8, you need to really measure it because some of these boxes, a lot of these boxes actually measure more than 16 inches. So I always bump mine up to 17 by 13 by 8 or 9 because I have measured them. But make sure you don't fall into that because if you've got a postal worker who's being specific and you're right at the line where it goes into a different dimensional weight um you don't you you don't want the additional charges but i just know i always measure them and then they never are what they say they are on the box i think a lot of times that 16 is the internal dimensions internal. of the box so when you add the thickness of the box it's going to push it up to over 16 which will round up to 17. right so when i say 17 by 13 by 8 it's really the 16 by 12 box. And eBay does sell that size box in their, in their branded stuff. I just want to clarify that. This is cute. Oh, it's another one of them. Playful Face Pals. I had this before. 
I'm pretty sure. Just cute. I think it's Jay at Play. That's what the, te yeah, Jay at Play. They also do the flipsies and the flip zoos and all of them. Um, probably 8 to 12. This looks vintagey. Vintage, but no tag that I can see. Definitely needs a bath. Probably will list it 15 or so. I think this is Target. It is not. It's got a hard feet. I think it's just more decoration. But I'm not seeing who the manufacturer is. But I know Target. No, Darice. D-A-R-I-C-E. Trying to see. This might fit catty cornered in a priority box because it's heavy. These are like metal or something. I'm thinking 8 to 12. I always grab these. Some of them are worth, you know, 10 or more dollars, but sometimes I try to put like a giraffe and a lion or whatever I have together and then make it like $12.95, $14.95. But this is Cabbage Patch. More contemporary. I think it says 2018. Monster High Plush. I know he has a name. I actually think I have one of these listed. It, or if it's a different animal from the Monster High, I may end it and do um, a lot of them together. I don't think this was worth very much. Like, I want to say 6 to $10. I can just tell. This is Ikea. Almost always their tags are cut off because their tags are like this long. And no kid wants to play with this with that long of a tag. Most of these are my bread and butter, like 10 to $15. This one's cute, nice and clean. All right, and then I thought this was a Beanie Boo. Wouldn't you have thought looking at it? But nope, it is Best Made Toys. Needs a bath. Probably still bread and butter. I just thought this was cute. I bought it. I don't know if I'm going to resell it or... I'll see if RJ's mama wants it for one of his siblings. But it's no tie shoelaces. And then, let's get to Kim. I picked two bags of the stuff that Kim, um, I bought from Kim. So, they're all over in my building. Mm, already. Already. This is the first bags we've gone through. This is the first bags. I haven't touched them. You haven't peeked in them. I haven't peeked in them. I haven't done anything. Robert unloaded them and put them in the building. In all the new sh shelving units that I was going to use to start moving my hard goods out to that side of the building. So I could have more room for my plush. So it's given me a motivation. I've got to get her stuff processed so I can get my shelves back. This is a Scentsy Buddy. Nice and clean. There is no scent pack, which is good. And there's no strong scent. So I'm not sure if it ever did have a scent pack in it. Because once those scent packs are in there, they are very potent. But very cute. I do not know. I don't know if I've had the monkey before. But normally, unless it's a really um, unique animal, these are like bread and butter. This is American Greetings Am Toy. 1983. Look how cute. Kind of reminds me of the, there's a Fisher Price one, I think. Where is it, Play School? I don't know. Too many toys running through my brain. But this is one of the teach me, you know, how to dress myself type things. Very cute. Probably bread and butter. Which I think they should be worth way more because they're vintage. They're from the 80s. All right, some replacement cones for, like, you know, bowling. Melissa and Doug. I don't know if I've ever had these. I'm thinking probably bread and butter. Oh, wait. Second bag. Oh, cute. This is Fiesta. Look. Big old pineapple. 
Now she told me all her stuff was clean. So these are in amazing condition, well cared for. So she and I had a chat about possibly putting together mystery boxes to share. Um, so, so far you guys will see what kind of condition of stuff you could be getting from her. So it's a shame we can't get this condition of stuff from the bins and the yard sales we go to. I know. You know how easy this is going to be? I'm going to, you know, pick them up, take their pictures, get them put away. This is a merit choice. I've not heard of that before. Hang in there, get well soon. Probably came from like a hospital. Um, what are those called there? The gift shop. The gift shops, yeah. Just very cute. Bread and butter. Grumblies. Grumblies. It's I'm not sure if this is the original packaging, but obviously it's new in the box. I have a hard time with these because if it's new in the box, did it have a battery in it? Has the battery corroded because it's been a while? Um, should I take it out and test it? All of this stuff is what goes through my mind when I'm looking at stuff like this. It does say, try me, poke my belly. That tells me the batteries are going down because it's just ticking. Hopefully it'll stop. <laughs> I think I just sold one of these. This is Stuffins. This is, I'm pretty sure this is from Frosty the Snowman. There's a whole series of Stuffins. They did Popeye. They did Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They did um, Frosty the Snowman. There's probably more. Oh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, I'm always on the lookout for them. They're mostly the, I think, 80s. I can't quite remember. Maybe 80s, 90s. But he's one of the ones. It's probably bread and butter. Like 6 to $10 for him. But, you know, I just sold the Dolly, Dolly Sue, I think her name is, from Rudolph. I want to say I sold her for like 30 ish dollars. So some of them sell quite well. The... What is it called? The polka dot elephant too from the Misfit Island series. So just things to keep in mind. Um, and then these. Lots of littles. It looks like you could tie them onto something. Just says made in China. Kind of almost reminds me of um, like something you would get from Oriental Trading Company for like a teacher. I will probably keep all of these together, maybe like $15, but we'll see. All right, bag two. Dumbo. It's from the Disney store. I'm not quite, I'm thinking probably $10 to $15 for him. Look at his ears, just adorable. This, I thought it was, it is gunned. Floppy the elephant. Look play or sing yes his ears are going to move when I get him going the thing to remember about these and I've talked about this before make sure when you're buying my famous last words buying stuff that has batteries even if you don't have a screwdriver with you which I do and never look um, make sure you don't see any crusties around the edge that way the batteries at this point don't seem corroded and also feel make sure like this has these tabs make sure that they don't feel broken because otherwise you know you're just wasting your money look how cute this is build-a-bear bumbles bumble. bumbles abominable snowman but i think they called him bumbles i thought his name was just abominable no bumbles too all right he's pulling out the phone folks I think they call him Bumbles also. Very cute. Again, look. 404B. Probably was blue or black for the color of the day. This, you know, I have two options on this. We know that this is Build-A-Bear. It's going to have the little tag right there. I may just cut this off 
But again, I'm going to try the hand sanitizer. I see his face. He knows he's wrong. It says the abominable snow monster of the north called abominable. Bumbles. Bumbles. No. Yes. No. <laughs> it does not say that. <laughs> we were both kind of right, but Bumbles, yes. I have listed plenty of these. Wait, I want to point out that you're wrong. It's just Bumble. Oh, is it Bumble? Okay. It's not Bumbles. You were totally wrong. Okay. <laughs> but I hopefully get this out. But if not, another option is just to cut it off and and declare it in your listing. All right. I think that was it. Yep. All right. I've got work to do. I just, but like I said, four loads of laundry. I try to balance them out like I'll do a load in the evening and by the morning I can flip them over and I start another load in the morning and then by the next day the first load's ready to come downstairs the second load is on its second day and I've washed it you know that's how I do it so it's like days and days but I was actually caught up till the, the Goodwill's bag so that'll be the next load to get going all right we got to get to work, right? Bye.